What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Good morning, everybody, and thanks to a Japanese website listed in the description of this video, we've got our first look at the 2020 January releasing series of DC collectible minifigures. And before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a new LEGO Stop Motion music video out, and you can check that out by clicking this card right here. Now, this set looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, this is really our first step away from LEGO Batman movie collectible minifigure series as far as DC is concerned. And if anything, guys, I feel like this is a call for Marvel to be like, yo, step it up. Now, the reason Marvel can't have a collectible minifigure series like this is because Hasbro owns the rights to action figures. And technically, when these figures are released as standalones without sets, the argument could be made that they're action figures. But anyways, to talk about the news today, taking a look at the figures starting in the top left and working to the front right, we've got Sinestro, Stargirl, Superman, the classic Linda Carter Wonder Woman, Metamorpho, Mr. Miracle, Cheetah, Joker, Cyborg, Jay Garrick, Simon Boz, Green Lantern, Huntress, Aquaman, Batman, Batmite, and Bumblebee. Now, I think that these figures look absolutely awesome. Uh, this is definitely a set that I feel like I'm going to need all of them for because I think that they all look great, not only as figures on their own, but as customs. You know, just to kind of put you in my headspace, what I'm thinking is this new Joker with that green receding hairline, that hairpiece is going to be absolutely perfect perfect for the Jack Nicholson Joker to switch that hair out. So that's absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, and I have some ideas for other pieces too, but that will be other videos. <laughs> so in any case, I think that these look absolutely awesome. If I had to pick a top five, Stargirl is absolutely my favorite here. Then Wonder Woman, Batmite is certainly up there, Cyborg is up there, and Huntress. So those are just kind of the ones that I gravitate toward naturally. Now for some bad news. I've heard rumors for a long time that this series is going to jump in price to $4.99 a piece. So before tax, that would mean that this entire set, if you find it in stores, is going to cost you at least $79.84. So this is definitely an expensive jump, you know, no lying there for you guys. Plus, if you want to get extras and if your state has like a higher tax rate than others, it kind of gets into a lot of stuff. But in any case, this is definitely going to be an expensive collection to hunt down. But I'm really looking forward to it. I, as we know, January 2020 is going to be the release of this, whether that's January 1st or somewhere toward the middle of the month. I couldn't tell you. But in any case, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this set. I'm really, really excited to pick these up and I hope that you guys are too. Drop a comment and let me know, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.